When it comes to the animal kingdom, cats are amazing parents. So when a cat adopted a tiger cub, it did a fantastic job. But several years later, something happened that absolutely no one expected. Arthur was a man who loved camping. He would often travel from his home in a Russian city up to the nearby mountains, where he would set up camp and spend several days out in the wilderness. Not only was camping a fun thing to do, but it also gave him a chance to spend some time alone, relaxing and unwinding from his busy job in the city. Spending time all alone in his tent, with nothing and no one around, really was Arthur's idea of heaven. You see, Arthur worked in finance, and most of his workdays were spent making frantic phone calls, chasing up people for money, making investments, depositing cash, checking stocks and shares, and generally being run off his feet. It was a high-pressure, fast-paced environment, and Arthur couldn't deny that he loved it. But to be able to get out into the silence of the wilderness was the perfect way to put all of that stress and pressure behind him, at least for a little while. But one day, while on one of his camping trips, something very out of the ordinary happened, something that changed the course of Arthur's life forever. But what was it? Keep watching to find out the incredible, almost unbelievable answer. While sat outside of his tent, stoking the small fire he had made and reading a book while drinking from his flask of coffee, Arthur heard a noise, a sort of whining, high-pitched, moaning noise. Arthur had spent a lot of time up in these mountains, and he had never heard a noise like that before, so he was understandably curious and interested as to where it was coming from and what it might be. Putting down his flask and book, Arthur cautiously headed off in the direction that the sound was coming from. It certainly was tricky to pinpoint the origin of the noise, as the trees were dampening the sounds. Also, the bounders were reflecting the sound and making it bounce from all different directions. But eventually, Arthur rounded a corner and saw something that made his mouth drop wide open. There, laid on the ground in front of him, were two tiny tiger cubs. They were no more than a few weeks old and looked terribly helpless and defenseless. Being a cat lover, Arthur's first thought was to scoop them up and take them somewhere safe. But he knew that they must have a mother somewhere. Perhaps she had gone to bring some food, or maybe she was close by, keeping a sharp eye on Arthur. Whatever the case, Arthur left the cubs where they were, though he kept returning to check on them throughout the rest of his camping trip. But what became very evident was that no one was coming for the cubs. There was no mother, and the cubs really were helpless. When Arthur noticed how painfully thin they were, he knew he had to act. So he packed up his camping gear and scooped up the two mewing tiger cubs. He would take them home and try to care for them himself. Arriving at home, Arthur walked in to find his cat princess ready to greet him. She was a beautiful little cat who had given birth to several litters of kittens before. Arthur loved Princess with all of his heart, and being able to sit with her on an evening and stroke her was another one of those things that helped him decompress after his long and busy days. But when Princess saw the two tiger cubs, she was immediately curious. She looked from the cubs to Arthur, as if to ask what they were, where they came from, and why they were there. Arthur had no time for introductions, though. He knew that he had to get some food into the cubs as soon as possible, if they had any chance of surviving. Princess watched on as Arthur fed the mewing cubs several slices of meat and let them lap up an entire bowl of milk. And that's when Princess did something truly astonishing. She walked over to the cubs and started grooming them with her tongue. Despite the cubs being the same size as the cat, Princess knew that they were youngsters and as such needed looking after. It was as if Princess's mothering instinct had been clicked on, and she fell into the role as if she did this kind of thing every single day. Over the next few weeks, the tiger cubs grew stronger and healthier. Their weight returned, and they began to have more energy. Princess would look after them, and the cubs would follow her around as if they just accepted their new roles as Princess's kittens. She would groom them, encourage them to eat and drink, and run and play with them before all three animals curled up together and fell asleep. As time went by, the tigers began to grow physically. They became longer, taller, and heavier than Princess, and still Princess treated them as if they were her own little baby kittens. When they would become a little too rough when play fighting, Princess would run across and lay down the law, sending the tiger cubs apologetically scattering in two different directions. It really was an amazing thing to see. 
and it never failed to make Arthur laugh when he watched his tiny little cat absolutely dominate the two giant tigers. Sadly though, the day came when the tigers were too big to live with Arthur anymore. They were getting to be a huge handful and would often damage things in the house. Not intentionally, of course, but things were still getting broken and smashed. And not only that, but feeding them was costing Arthur a fortune too. So he made the decision that he would take them to the local zoo and ask them to look after them from now on. Strangely though, as he packed them into the back of his car, Arthur felt a great sadness, especially when he saw the sad look on Princess's face as they drove away. Luckily, the zoo was happy to accept the tigers. They had recently created a wonderful, large new compound where the tigers could run and play in an environment very similar to their natural environment. There was even a large perspex window where visitors could come and watch them as they played. And so, after saying his goodbyes, Arthur left the tigers in the very capable hands of the zoo staff. He had done all that he could. He vowed never to return to the zoo in case he felt an intense amount of guilt for leaving the cubs behind, and for several years, he stuck to that vow. But years later, Princess became sick. She was getting old, and her body was not able to fight off illnesses as it once was. Arthur took her to the vet, and they told him that it would be for the best if they euthanized her. Arthur sadly agreed, but there was one thing that he wanted to do first one final treat that he wanted to give Princess. And so he headed to the zoo, unsure of what he would find there. Placing Princess in a carry cage, Arthur carried her through the gates and headed to the tiger compound, where he immediately recognized the two tigers he had saved many years before. The two tigers saw Arthur, the man they had once known, and looked him up and down through the perspex window. Unsure of whether the animals remembered who he was, he put up his hand to the window as if to stroke them. The tigers looked at Arthur's hand and then turned away, as if he was as much of a stranger to them as the countless other people that came to see them each and every day. Arthur was sure that they must have not remembered him and lowered his hand as they walked away. But something incredible was about to happen, something that no one could believe when they saw. Arthur then picked up his cat, Princess, and showed her to the tigers. Immediately, the two tigers lit up, bounded over to the cat, and started affectionately pawing at the glass and rolling around on the floor. They clearly remembered the animal that had raised and protected them all those years ago. And Princess obviously recognized them too. Arthur didn't know how this was possible, as the tigers had grown so much since they parted. But Princess knew that these two giant beasts were her children. It must have been the scent or some other animal instinct that we will never truly understand. Princess rubbed her small body up against the window and meowed at the tigers, and in return, they tried to rub up against their mother too. It was a very emotional meeting and one that melted the hearts of all who witnessed it. While Arthur was unsure that the tigers would be able to remember anything of their upbringing or of the time before they came to the zoo, it was obvious to all that they very clearly remembered and still had a lot of love and affection for their mother, Princess. It just goes to show that even though Princess and the tigers weren't even the same species, love is love, and a good deed will stay in the memories of all for a long time. And for that brief moment, everything was all right with the world. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible and touching tale? Have you ever heard of a cat being so loving towards tiger cubs and raising them as its own? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.